So just how this even became a possibility is kind of crazy. I was talking to Ryan Hall, who runs YMH. He goes, I, I reached out. The Navy has approved for you to go for a, a, a ride with the Blue Angels. How you doing, Dan? You know, you're used to seeing uniformed men and women in public sometimes, but when you see them in their element together, it kind of stops you for a second. You're like, oh, this is what it really is to be in the military. I get to meet, for me, the man of the hour, which is seven. How many G's are we gonna go for? Seven and a half minimum. Nice. Yeah, we're, we'll push you all the way to limit. All right, you can do great. Yeah. He looks like he is cut out of a storybook about what a fighter pilot should look like. I feel like a chick the moment that I meet him. I'm like, hi, sir. <laughs> and then it's like, it's on. The, the butterflies start. I'm like, oh, this is happening. Who's for the day? Very proud. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know how I am often in battle. Some people consider it, you know, virtual battle. But I heard from a number of the people on base that they have a lot of respect for what I do. Can I get a weapons check? I've never really thought about what the air support does for me and for my uh, platoon, but I do now. And if you want to uh, find me out there, my call sign is, um... I we're ready to walk out there. Let's do it, bro. Should I go for it? Absolutely. Okay. Give them hell, Seven. Yeah, we'll try. Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, Seven, let's do what Big Dog do! Boom! Boom! and then he just flies straight up. Yes, sir. Here we go. Ready. Just like that, 6.2 G's. Holy shit, dude. He comes around this bend and does this hard pull turn like back towards the runway and my vision went completely black and then came back on. Everybody was so cool and gracious, cheering me on. He absolutely killed it. <laughs> Welcome back. Mach 1.25, yeah, positive 7.4 Gs, Dude. negative 2 Gs. A little bit of everything. I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed it. Thank you yeah. so, so much. <laughs> Fighting for your life. Nice. I hear you're going to get on bird after this. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of nowhere, they go, hey, do you want to go for a ride in Fat Albert? That's the name of the C-130, Fat Albert. I was like, that's the name of my friend. Fat Albert, so that was kind of cool. I mean, it's eight minutes of hell, but you'll be all right. You just did an hour worth of hell, so you should be fine. All right, more hell. And then we're like waiting to take off, and I'm listening to these guys, <laughs> and they're like, I've never flown before. Have you? Like, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we take off. They do some maneuver where I raise up out of my seat and almost hit the ceiling. I'm like, oh, my God. And I was like, oh, yeah, these are... They're putting on a show too. These guys are the, a sh they're not just like transport planes. They're putting on a show for everybody who's going to this thing. Yeah, I mean, you walk away from this thing realizing how like central everybody is to making this happen. I mean, the pilots are obviously the stars of the show and they're, you know, they're gifted. They're incredible. What they're able to do is amazing. 
but it takes the team. It takes the whole team to be able to make it happen. So I have the utmost respect for everybody involved there. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me an absolutely life-altering, incredible experience. I, um, I, I wish I could go back in time and try to fly. It's just fun to be with your friends, you know? I will never forget you guys. I left a wallet there.